Yeah, I picture uh, or see the. Um, it's like an empty shore mm-hmm. with ocean, and then also like a forest too. Beautiful. With one palm tree. With one palm tree, very good. Mm-hmm. So tell me about this place. I feel like I, I see it before. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's explore this place. I want you to get all your your senses engaged. And tell me how it feels to be in this place. What do you feel from it? I think it's supposed to be relaxing, Mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily relaxing. All right, so let's find out what's in this place. Let's find out why we're there. I want you to do a little bit of exploration. Mm -hmm. What does this place feel like to you? Hmm. Like, um... Connect with your emotions. Kind of scary, actually. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, well, let's find out what's going on in this place. Mm. Connect with the emotions, and I want you to feel as if you're in that place, and tell me if you have a body in that place. Do you feel like you have a body there? I don't think feet. so. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's more visualizing other mm-hmm. other people. Or all right, so let's find out what's on that place. I want you to connect all of your emotions in this place and tell me what's the first impression that you feel from this place. You said it was scary. Yeah, like there's a like a forest, kind of like a almost a maze. Mm-hmm. There's a maze behind the, like the. There's the sand in the ocean, the palm tree, which is, like seems relaxing. Mm-hmm. But right behind it, it almost creeps up closer and closer to the sand. Mm-hmm. But there's like more of like a dense forest, like you'd see in a movie. All right. So now that you're in spirit, we can explore this place, and I'll be right with you. There's nothing to be concerned about. We're going to journey together, and let's find out what this place is all about. I want you to go ahead and tell me how you get into this forest. It's like a square door, Mm -hmm. but it's open and cut out of the leaves. Cut out of the leaves? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go through that door, and I'm right with you. And tell me what's there. What's on the other side? It seems like a lot of trees and... Mm -hmm. Are these tall trees? Yes. Mm-hmm. What else do you sense from this forest? They end, like just keep going. Mm-hmm. And then I feel like there's some kind of snakes or something around too. All right, so let's find out what there is. Go very slowly, and I want you to observe everything around you. And I want you to observe it in a detached way so that you can be able to just dialogue with me and tell me what's happening and if you feel that you have a body at any point there yeah like there I feel like I do all right Mm -hmm. so explain to me what you see yourself as being look down at your feet first maybe kind of webbed Mm mm-hmm look at your feet and see what color are they I want to say kind of greenish. Greenish, mm hmm. Greenish web feet. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look up the body and tell me what your feet look like. Or what your legs look like. What do they look like? Mm. Are they seem kind of like they do now? Mm hmm. All right. Let's keep going up. What does your torso look like? I feel like really tall. Mm-hmm. How tall do you feel? Like giant tall. Mm-hmm. 
Like my legs don't seem that long, but the torso feels really long. Okay, what does the torso look like? Like a, tr almost like a triangle, kind of like hum like shape is now. Uh huh. But more exaggerated. Okay. Mm hmm. And what does your head look like? Hmm. I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. I want you to imagine a mirror in front of you. It's mm -hmm. a spiritual mirror, and you could look at your face. What does it look like? Look at it with curiosity. I don't know. Part of me like sees a more of like a helmet, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's kind of bird-like. Mm -hmm. Bird-like? Underneath. Yes. Does it have any color? Red. Mm -hmm. So you feel like a red? Yeah. Birdish look? Uh-huh. Take mm -hmm. a look at your features, your nose, your... Yeah, like a big no. beak. Like a big beak. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Do you feel male or female? I think male. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out. Now that you know what you look like, let's find out what this forest is all about. Okay, it's like an empty line down the middle. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you're supposed to go that way or not. Okay, what do you feel in your heart that you should do? Yeah, I definitely want to see. All right, so let's go down the middle. Remember, I'm right there with you. And just describe everything that you see, any emotions that you feel. I don't know, it feels kind of safe. Like, mm -hmm. safer than the outside of it. Yes. But it feels, like, lonely. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I don't think there's anything else really in there besides mm -hmm. the snake that I saw before. Mm-hmm. And it feels kind of safe, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like there's anything else around. Okay. So now that we've gone into this place, let's find out where it is that you live. Where do you spend most of your time with? I think at the top. All right. So let's find your way to the top and see where your home is. Describe it for me. It's like a, almost like a deck. Like a deck? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Describe it for me. So, if, like, there's wood that mm -hmm. kind of, it feels at the top of the, of the trees. Mm-hmm. Like, really close to the sun. Like, the sun's really, like, right there. Like, you can always touch it. Uh-huh. But it looks like the sun that you, it doesn't look any closer. It just feels closer. Yes. Do you feel that that son and you have a connection? Yeah. Mm hmm So tell me, in your heart, in your instinct, mm -hmm. what that son represents to you. Hmm. Like something about trust or mm -hmm. um like it's not lonely up there. Yes. Do you feel that that's where you come from? I think so, yeah. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that you do on the treetops there. What else does your home look like? Mm, I can see all the water. Mm -hmm. And it just like keeps going all the way down. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the trees go all the way down and then also the water goes all the way down. Mm -hmm. And the beach goes all the way down. Like there's nothing left or right of it. And what do you feel that you do there? What's your role in this place? Why are you um, there? So I'm like overwatching everything. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that that's your responsibility? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like observing it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it has anything to do with the doorway at the bottom. Mm -hmm. At the end of the... Maybe like nobody should go through there. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like this is your place? This is your mm. forest? Or your... How, kind you? of. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. So let's mm. find out some more. Mm -hmm. And I want you to just feel yourself acclimating with the mind 
and body of where you are right now. Mm -hmm. And let's find out something that's going on in your life that has impacted you there. Let's find out some mm -hmm. history and see how it is that you came to be in this place. Mm -hmm. Be there now. Yeah, I feel like something awful has happened mm -hmm. on the pathway that's yes. carved out. Let's find out what happened there. I feel like something like dead or maybe I couldn't stop it. Mm -hmm. So let's see yourself going there. I want you to go back in time to that incident and see what happened in that pathway. Tell me what's happening. I'm going to see a boy, like a human boy. Mm -hmm. He looks young and like he got taken. But I don't know what took what took him. Mm -hmm. Slow down the scene and play it again, and you'll be able to see what took him. Do it frame by frame. Almost like some kind of rodent. Mm -hmm. Tell me how big this rodent is. Look at his arms around him, like dragging. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't tell in perspective to everything else, mm -hmm. but. I think he's like, would be like 10 feet tall. Mm-hmm, the rodent is. Mm -hmm. mm hmm He also has like armor on too. He has armor on too. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Do you feel that perhaps this is your enemy? Mm-hmm. All right. So let's find out a little bit about this rodent. Not always really bad, though. Tell me when you have encountered this rodent before. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really sure. All right. So what are you getting from it? Were you supposed to save this boy? Mm -hmm, I think so. Okay, what was the reason he was there? I think he was lost on the, the beach, maybe. Mm hmm And you were supposed to save him? Mm-hmm, yeah, like not let anybody through. Mm-hmm. And why did the rodent get him? Because I was lazy. Mm-hmm. What were you doing at the time? Um... Not really watching, but it wasn't for long. Mm -hmm. So you weren't at your post? Mm -hmm. What were you doing instead? Well, maybe I think I was at my post, but I wasn't doing anything. All right. Like I was just So how does that chilling. feel? How does that feel inside? Like yeah. I get like not paying attention for one minute and something happened. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I have to watch all the time. Mm-hmm. Because you messed up, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you like to give me all of that guilt that you're holding inside? All right, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to give it all to me. Pull it out, all of that guilt. Blow it all out. Mm -hmm. Feel all of that guilt coming out, knowing that you could only do the best that you can, knowing what you know. You can't go back and change things, can you? Uh -oh. All right. So feel it all coming out of you, every single cell of your body, bringing it all out and giving it to me. Tell me when I have it all. Pull it all out. You don't need to carry that any longer. Tell me when I have it. All right, I'm going to take it from you. And what would you like to put in there instead? Some kind of happiness. All right, let's put lots of happiness and joy in there. Mm -hmm. Fill your soul with all of that happiness and joy, knowing that every day is a new day. Every day we get a new chance. All of our mistakes are just things that help us learn to be better and better. Understanding that we only have the moment of now, and the moment of now should be lived with lots of happiness and joy. Feel it going in. I'm going to touch your forehead and seal that in. Very good. So now let's continue and see what happens next. 
want you to close that scene and let's go mm. to another scene that impacted you. I don't know. I see like a lot of, it's a lot brighter. Mm-hmm. Um, almost like a, I want to say like a sun, but it's not like a mm. radial kind of. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of that part's kind of gone. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I'll just take a deep breath in now again, and let's go closing that scene and let's move to another scene that's important. Something that impacted your life in that same lifetime. And tell me where you are. And if it's not in that lifetime, let's go drifting and floating to another time and another place, another lifetime that is affecting you now. And just tell me what images come into your mind. And tell me where you are. Hmm. It's like a lot of light, but it keeps kind of going, mm-hmm. like going away. All right. So let's... Let's find out where that light is coming from. I want you to just focus on that light. And as you focus on that light, tell me what color it is. Kind of blue. Mm Mm-hmm. I feel like I see it a lot. Mm Mm-hmm. In which direction is that blue going? Is it going towards you? Um, Next I think away. Mm Mm-hmm. It seems like a way. All right. So and it's all black around. All right. So since you are spirit, you're able to follow that light now. And I'd like for you to go ahead and start following that light as it's going away from you. And you can go as fast as you want. The moment you set your intention, you're there. So see yourself in that blue light. Let's find mm. out what that blue light is. I feel like it's kind of in space a little bit. Mm-hmm, very good. So surround yourself with that blue light. Let's see where you are. All you have to do is set the intention and you're there. I feel like I have really long hair and just kind of like floating with it. Mm-hmm. What else do you look like there? I'm a girl for sure. Mm-hmm. With long hair. Mm-hmm. How big are you there? How big do you feel? Um, I feel like I don't feel big. Mm-hmm. But in perspective, other things, I'm pretty big. Okay. So like I you... feel like I do like my size. Okay. What else do you look like besides the long hair? Like ethereal, kind of. Mm-hmm. Now, as you're floating through that blue light, mm-hmm. what else is there with you? Take a look and see if you see anything else. I almost, like, see it from a different perspective. Mm-hmm. It's just like really peaceful person kind of wrapped up in it. I think it's like, I, I know it's space, but I don't know what, like, if it's what planets are around. Mm, I feel okay. like I see planets, but. That's okay. So as you see the planets, I'd like for you to just go floating towards them. Tell me if you see anything that's... It's like Earth, but it has a ring around it. All right. What kind of ring does it look like? Like shorter than Saturn. Mm -hmm. Is it Saturn? I don't know what that planet is. But it's like... uh, Like home, kind of. But Mm -hmm. it's got like a fat, short ring. All right. So you can kind of like grab onto. So go ahead and grab onto it. I 
what's happening as you're grabbing onto it? I feel like let go of the blue light and mm -hmm. like hang on to the ring. All right. Like right around. How does it feel when you grab that? Good. Good. All, All right. right. So go ahead and you can use now your intention and you can get closer. It's almost like a water slide. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and take that slide. <laughs> and tell me everything that you see along the way. Um, you can kind of like rub your hands through the plant as you go down. Uh-huh. What does it feel like? Like, um, liquidy. Mm-hmm. So this planet is liquidy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It feels like if you were to put your hand into, like, a waterfall. Mm-hmm. And in what direction are you going? It feels like spiraling down. Okay. But I don't really like water slides too much, but it's still fun. Mm-hmm. So let's go spiraling down and see where it is that you land. Um, it's, I feel like on the planet, but mm -hmm. it's not really, it's like where I picture Mars to be like, mm -hmm. I think it's red and rocky. It's red and rocky. Mm -hmm. All right. But there's water, but it's on the out. It's almost like there's no water in the planet. It's mm -hmm. all around the walls. It's on the walls. So on it's the like outside. a giant waterfall everywhere mm -hmm. you look, mm -hmm. but only on the en ends of like the planet. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So now that you're on this planet, do you have a body there? I think so. Mm -hmm. um, Acclimate yourself to that body mm -hmm. and describe what it looks like. I don't know. My like, I feel like it's like an older man with a beard, mm. with a white beard. Okay. Like exploring, like a stereotypical explorer man with a cane. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel there? I think really old. Okay. So let's find out what it is that you're exploring there. Yeah. Look all around you. Don't be better. feel alone. Mm-hmm. But I see like other people like kind of tent, like a campsite. Mm hmm. What do they look like? Like, I don't know. How are they dressed? I was going to say more like salamander kind of things. Mm hmm. What do they look like? Um,. Kind of like snakes in a way. Mm -hmm. Do they stand upright? Yes. All right. So tell me the features. Like yellow eyes mm -hmm. and then really long tails that curl. They curl up or mm -hmm. down? Curl mm -hmm. up. Uh-huh. Long tails. Yeah. Do they have appendages? Do they have Yeah, arms? they walk on feet and like... Mm -hmm. What do their feet look like? They're really tall. Mm -hmm. They're really tall. I didn't notice at first. Mm -hmm. They're tall. Their feet are little. Little feet. Mm-hmm. And little hands. Like a dinosaur, kind of. Mm-hmm. And what do the face look like besides the eyes? Like a snake. Like a snake? It's, yeah, snake tongue. Snake tongue. And maybe like, I don't know, it turns more dinosaur-like when I feel like I get closer. Mm-hmm. And they like um the horns that dinosaurs have. Mm -hmm. They have horns. What color are they? Horns. I think greenish. Greenish. Like a rep like a normal reptile. Like a reptile. Very good. Mm -hmm. So as you get closer, what happens? They don't really notice them there. I thought they came out to greet me, but they're just like looking at other stuff. Mm -hmm. But they have little tents, which doesn't make any sense that they're so big. Let's and they're looking at the water too. That's uh, what they're looking at. At the water, at the outside of yeah. the planet? Mm hmm So let's see what happens next. But they're not threatening. Mm hmm They're just living in their, like, community, and I'm just there exploring. Let's see where you explore. Take me with you. I'm on, like, the outskirts of their, their campsite. Um... Mm 
Hmm. It's weird because it like you can see space, mm-hmm. but it's not nighttime. It's like daylight. Yes. So just like going around. I don't think it ever becomes night, but you can always see the stars. Okay. And I feel like I going up like up a mountain. Mm-hmm. Like it's really steep and windy. And there's a path. I feel like there's some kind of volcano at the top. Okay, so let's find out what's there. Mm. Describe everything you see. Yeah, I mean, there's not much except mm-hmm. the red ground and the water sparkles on the sides. And stars are up. I can see all the weird dinosaur type things hanging out. Mm-hmm. Are there a lot of them? Yeah, there's tons. Okay. I think they all are kind of the same. And they're just like staring at the water. It's almost like they need it, but they don't know how to get to it. Okay. So let's find out another thing that happens in this place. I want you to close that scene Mm -hmm. and now let's go to another scene in that same lifetime when something very important is happening. See yourself there. Hmm. Where are you? They're like in the same place, but there's not the dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. What happened? They're like just becoming there. Like there's definitely like an egg or mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. Where did this egg come from? I think God or something just like dropped it there. Mm-hmm. Maybe I helped it like start them. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happens with this egg. Um, I feel like it's been there and just like kind of watching it, but nothing's really around to hurt it. And eventually it's, it'll, it'll start the, like that campsite there. Mm-hmm. It'll start them to, to come there. What do you feel your role is? I don't know. On this planet. I want you to go deep within and you'll know the answer. What do you do on this planet? I think I was just supposed to like set it up Mm -hmm. and like get this, but I don't know what happened as far as like, like they kind of got stuck. They're Mm -hmm. stuck without water. Like, so I got them all there, but they can't do anything. They're just like waiting. What do they live off of? I think they eat some kind of grass thick. I don't know why there's grass now, but there's grass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, hmm. I feel like they eat that kind of grass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that you are some sort of a protector of these? I think a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't think, I think um, they have to wait. Like they're not, it's not me that they're waiting for. Yes. Like they're trying to be patient mm-hmm. and they are patient they're just like hanging out but I don't think they know what they're waiting for yes they think it's the water but I don't know what they need all right so, so yeah I don't know so let's advance and find mm-hmm. out what it is that they're waiting for see yourself there now hmm I don't know if it's like something about the volcano and the water. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it does though. Maybe like trying to see what happens. Mm-hmm. So you can advance the scene now mm-hmm. and see it and fast forward. And let's see what that volcano has to do with the water. It's almost like it erupts. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know what it has to do with the dinosaurs, but mm-hmm. the water comes down and it builds like a new landscape. Mm-hmm. So do you think that possibly the heat of the volcano 
how so, maybe it brings the water down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now look at the. And it's pretty. It is pretty. Mm -hmm. So what does it look like now? I can feel like a butterflies and just like sparkles and happiness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like everybody, I don't think the dinosaurs are there anymore. Okay. I don't know what their role is. It kind of bugs me because I mm -hmm. want to know, but I feel like now it's just like now that it's new land down that people are are gonna happy happy there okay and how does like it it's make... all like that the whole place the whole planet uh-huh how does that make you feel i think good it feels good do you feel like you played a part in that yeah i think so all right very good is there anything else from this scene that is important mm, i don't think so all right so let's leave that scene and now let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Go to the last day of your life and tell me what's happening. Where are you? Mm. Glowing in grass. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Still kind of alone. Mm -hmm. But like, if still in that happy space. Mm -hmm. But I don't think much is going on. Like, it feels fulfilled. And that's kind of it. All right. So you choose to end your life there. Uh -huh. All right. So take a deep breath in, and let's transition out of that body. Feel yourself leaving that body behind, and as you do, tell me what happens to your soul. Where do you go to now? goes back out of, into space. All right. Like an orb. Mm hmm So let's find out where you go to now. Describe everything that's going on. Let's move like really fast through space. Mm hmm Hmm. I get home really know where I'm stopping. All right, so just tell me what you see along the way. Some stars and... Like it's um, almost like a black hole, what you see, what I picture that to be like. Mm -hmm. um, and then it slows down, but I, it's so floating still. So keep floating and tell yeah, me everything. Yeah, I feel like fire, see. kind of, some sort. Mm -hmm. And more purple, like a fireball almost. Mm -hmm. Not purple. Mm -hmm. So what happens now? Um, I don't know. Let's find out. I think I like lightning. Lightning of some sort. Mm -hmm. You feel like lightning? Maybe it is me. Mm -hmm. Find out. Yeah, it just feels really aggressive. Mm hmm. Aggressive mm. or powerful? Hmm. What's... Maybe both. Mm-hmm. So where are you heading to? We're definitely coming down onto the ground. I'm not really... I can't tell. Mm -hmm. I think it's on the ground. Like there's cracks in the ground now. Mm -hmm. Like a stone that just keeps breaking. Do you feel that you did that? Yeah, I almost feel like it's cracking. Uh -huh. Like there's something underneath. All right, let's find out what's underneath. Maybe that's what the fire is, I think. Like lava or like magnum kind of. Mm -hmm. It's just like pouring downward. Like a hole that you can go through. Mm -hmm. I don't think I want to go in there though. How does that feel when you look at that hole? Like scary. Mm -hmm. 
like where you don't want to go. Let's find out where you do go. Yeah, I'm not going there. I can't tell if I'm just avoiding it or like I just don't want to know. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's, there's like a lot of kids running around in the grass. All right. Um, I feel like it's me mm -hmm. like when I was little. Mm-hmm. Or like playing too really close to the lava, which is not good. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Hmm. Where do you go to now? My house in Florida. Mm-hmm. How old are you there? I think like four. Mm-hmm. What's happening? I'm just like walking around the kitchen. Mm-hmm. I'm like gonna go back where my grandma had a house in the back. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I can't really open the door to get out. How does that feel? Bad. Mm hmm Why do you want to go out? Because I was going to go say hi. Um, I like, know she's back there, but I'm like trapped. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Um, I feel like the dog can kind of like get it open. Mm hmm Like he's helping. Oh, I can go through the dog door. I'm gonna do that. Mm hmm So let's go in there and let's, mm. let's talk to your grandma. She has one this like blue babushka thing. Mm -hmm. I she used to wear, wear, wear something like that, like mm -hmm. a red shaped shirt. Mm -hmm. And her dog that she always had. Mm -hmm. So talk to your grandma. What do you want to say to her? I don't know. Um, I just kind of want to hug her. Go ahead and give her a hug. Give your grandma a hug. It feels like me now mm -hmm. being able to do it. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and give give your grandma a big hug. I want you to go ahead and drop the stones for a moment, and let's let me help you. And we're gonna give her a big hug. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give her a big hug. Mm -hmm. Give your grandma a big hug. What would you like to tell her? Is this Doobie? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell Doobie? Um, I'm just sorry I couldn't help her. She got sick. Mm-hmm. Take a deep breath in. Doobie, what would you like to tell Megan about that? <sighs> it's, not, it's not my fault. It's not... Mm hmm it's not, not my fault, but I still feel like there's stuff I could have done. Mm hmm So let's let's talk to Doobie. One, two, okay. three. Doobie, good afternoon. Your granddaughter says she feels bad about not being there. What would you like to tell her today? Nothing she could have done. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and tell your granddaughter that. There's nothing that you could have done. It's okay. Is that something that she should be carrying around for the rest of her life? No. So tell her about that. Mm. There's... Yeah, there's... So, Sick from there's nothing to be, could have done mm -hmm. for sickness. So, Doobie, how is that hurting her heart? <sighs> Holding that guilt. She, 
it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's making her life harder. Mm -hmm. What well, how's it affecting her? Too much responsibility for her about things. Mm -hmm. She's throwing too much on herself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So how is that affecting her health and her well-being, mentally and physically? It's causing a lot of stress mm -hmm. when things that can't be fixed or helped. Mm -hmm. So she's loading all of this on top of herself without needing to? Mm-hmm. All right. Would you like to take some of that from her? Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead and remove that from her doobie. Take all of that burden from her. She doesn't need to carry that with, with her anymore. Give her that peace that only a grandmother can give. And as you embrace her doobie, fill her with your love, your kindness, And tell me how you see her body now, in her mind. Mm. I'm better. Mm -hmm. So take a deep breath in. Megan, what would you like to tell Doobie? I miss her. I wish she was around. Mm -hmm. okay. It was really sad. All right. Take a deep breath in, Doobie. She wants to see you around. Are you around her? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell her where you are. Mm. Do you guide her, Doobie? Yeah. Mm hmm So what does she have to do to contact you and connect with you? I think just ask. Just ask. Very good. All right. Take a deep breath in. Megan, your grandmother says that all you have to do is ask. Are you willing to do that? Yes. Are you willing to talk to her when you need someone to talk to? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to give you her burdens? To give her all your burdens? Yeah, but I don't want her to be stuck with her. All right, let's find out from Doobie. Take a deep breath in. Doobie, would you be taking any responsibility for her burdens if she gives them to you. Mm. No. What would you do with those burdens? Make them go away. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Take a deep breath in. Megan, do you realize that when you give your grandmother the burdens, she makes them go away. She doesn't carry them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you need to carry these burdens uh -uh. anymore? All right. So I want you to go ahead and imagine yourself now with this load of all of these burdens that you've been carrying for so long. Imagine yourself as if you were a big pack mule with all of these burdens just going up a steep hill. Imagine all of these burdens holding you down, making it hard to trek up this mountain. Mm -hmm. And I want you to go ahead and start releasing these burdens and imagine your grandmother just next to you and releasing them to her. And she's going to catch them and she's going to send them right up to the angels. Mm -hmm. And see yourself releasing yourself of these burdens more and more. Each one removing them, throwing them down to her. And she catches them and sends them to the angels. Mm -hmm. And tell me how you feel now. Lighter. Lighter. So now you can see that without those loads, you can trek up any mountain. All you have to do is use those strong legs to get you there. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And your grandmother will always be there to guide you and to be keeping you safe on your journeys. Mm -hmm. So take a deep breath in now. And let me speak with Doobie. Doobie, how does it feel to release all of those burdens from her? Helpful. Mm -hmm. So now when your granddaughter has all of these thoughts that are fluttering around in her head, what would you like her to do with those thoughts? Pass them off. Mm -hmm. And will you be there mm -hmm. to take them from her? Very good. Very good. Is there anything else that you want to tell your granddaughter mm -hmm. today? Very good. Take a deep breath in. Megan, is there anything you would like to tell Doobie? Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Okay. Well, she don't have to say goodbye. She's always <laughs> going to be there. You can always mm -hmm. say hello, can't you? Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So let's take a deep breath in. And as you relax your hands, feel yourself going deeper and deeper into hypnosis. Allow your hands now to go to your sides. And as you move those hands, feel them going deeper and deeper into hypnosis. Deeper and deeper, feeling yourself. Going down deeper. Very good. Using your breath to take you deeper and deeper. And as you keep sinking lower and lower, we're going to connect now with your higher self. And as I connect with your higher self, I'm going to ask your higher self if I have permission to ask questions. Do I have permission to ask these questions today? Very mm -hmm. good. Now, I know that you could have shown Megan many different lifetimes today. Why did you show her the one of this bird with a giant rodent and a child? What did that signify for her? She can't stop everything. Mm -hmm. Be responsible for everything. So what is she doing now in her life that she's taking responsibility for that she doesn't need to? Trying to protect against bad things happening. Mm-hmm. And these bad things, are they happening to her? They're not happening, but it's she thinks it's because they're protected. Mm -hmm. But they can happen anytime. All right. So I know that you showed Megan going through to a different planet. What is the purpose that she has here? Um, Does she have a divine purpose here? Is there a reason why she's Something about creation? Mm hmm What is the purpose that she came here? Who is she really? Mm. I guess a helper. Mm-hmm. She's a helper? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you showed her the life of this old man who was in a planet full of Kind of reptilian type people. Why did you show her that life? I think it's, it feels like past, but I think it's future stuff. Like, mm -hmm. Is, is Megan a sort of a creator? Sort of, yeah. Mm hmm so, is she the one who left that egg on that planet? Was she responsible for that egg? I think responsible. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the man. The man's just taking care of the place. Mm -hmm. But she was responsible for that planet? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, is Megan some sort of a creator being? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, why did she choose her life here on Earth? It seems that... Since she's so powerful as a creator, why did mm. she come here this time? Thing with creating here too, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure okay. what she's. Yeah. Can we? Can you take her to the moment 
when she's meeting with her council to determine what she's going to do here. And we'll talk to you in a bit. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's take Megan now. Megan, I'd like for you now to go back in time to where you became before you became Megan. And you are sitting with your council and your guide, mm -hmm. determining what it is that you're going to be doing in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. See yourself there and describe it for me. Super bright. Mm -hmm. um, it's like tall beams of light everywhere mm -hmm. and people kind of sitting around. Mm -hmm. What do these people look like? Um, I don't know. Like brown and blackish, mm -hmm. but... Do they have a form? Yeah, it's um, like lots of limbs. Mm-hmm. But like human-esque face kind of. Mm-hmm. But they have many limbs? Mm-hmm. What do you look like? The same. The same. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And what are these beings? I want you to connect with them mind mm -hmm. to mind. Totally acclimate yourself. It's like a triangle table. A triangle table. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That ever, it's, I guess, a table. It's more like a floating, like, light, and everybody sits around. Mm -hmm. How many are you? <sighs> and, like, the, maybe, like, four on a side? Mm hmm It's hard to tell because there's so many limbs. Mm hmm It's like they are all connected, but not. Yes. And it's like you sit here and, like, figure it out. Mm-hmm. Like there's like kind of ears, like a like a gremlin, mm -hmm. <laughs> like mm -hmm. like floppy kind of big ears. Yes. And but they're like peaceful. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, not sure. And you say there's four of them on one side. On each of the sides. On each of the so eight, uh, eight of them plus you. Um, like, there's three neck on my side, too. Okay. So there's quite a few of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what like are you super smart there. All right. So let's find out what you're discussing. I'd like for you to connect to this conversation. It's going to be all telepathic. And tell me what it is that you're discussing. Like a rearranging things? Mm-hmm. Um, what needs to be rearranged? Like galaxies mm -hmm. or space. Mm -hmm. Like imp importance of stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like, um, it's serious, but it's almost as serious as, like, a job where you're just, like, moving things. Like, it's just, like, a daily task. Mm -hmm. To move galaxies around? Yeah, to, like, it's not that much pressure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, we're, like, having a conversation about what kind of, like, shifting things around. Mm -hmm. And what is your role in this? Definitely leaderish. Mm -hmm. Like I have a big input on where things go. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I must feel like some kind of queen or something. Mm -hmm. Do you feel female there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. for sure. So, do you feel that these other beings hold some sort of? Um, relevance to you or um, mm. are they are they connected to you in some way I think it's all it's hard to explain like they're not brothers or anything or mm -hmm. sisters they're just all kind of like one all one group yeah are they like one mind almost yeah mm -hmm. yeah I'd almost say it's like everybody's the same okay 
but you're a leader. You're leading. But I'm definitely a leader, okay. yeah. So let's find out how you decide to be in the life of Megan. I think during this conversation. Mm -hmm. What happens? We're trying to like move things around in the triangle, like circles and stuff. And we, there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Tell me what the problem is. And nobody else wants to deal, deal with it. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like other people usually come from, we send them to like deal with it. Mm -hmm. But nobody wants to deal with it. What is the problem that's happening on earth? <sighs> mm. I don't know, I think, for some reason I think of water, but mm -hmm. like I see water as a problem, but it's like really overwhelming. Mm -hmm. In um, what way? I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like we're thinking about this water. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking of shifting some water around? Maybe, maybe that's it. Mm -hmm. Like we're trying to figure out to balance it. Yes. But it won't. It's like kind of like an argument. Mm -hmm. And nobody knows what to do. But I can't really. Just take a deep mm. breath in and you'll be able to very peacefully sort it out. It's like puzzle pieces. And as you connect the puzzles, you'll be able to figure out what it's all about. Mm -hmm. You'll just know what it is, what the mission is all about. What is it that nobody wants to do? I'm not sure. It real, I see flow like something about running water, flowing water, mm -hmm. and like keep keeping it okay. Mm -hmm. Like I, I just feel like again being like responsible for it. Like mm -hmm. I want to take responsibility. Mm -hmm. Well, you've you've been on a water planet before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's like I get it. So on Earth. What is the personality or the human mm -hmm. as Megan going to be doing? What will you be doing as a Megan? I feel like... Hmm. I do connect with that council's mind. What is the purpose? Is there something special about you? Mm-hmm. Maybe some kind of healing? Mm-hmm. So as you breathe deeply, you'll be able to connect even further. Feel yourself going deeper into that mind. Acclimating more and more with it, with each breath, becoming one with her. Connecting with all of the thoughts effortlessly. Knowing what the purposes of your journey as a human will be. Hmm. Is it multifaceted? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a bigger picture, but I, I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, there's something with healing with water. Mm -hmm. And something about, like, but it's a bigger project. So while you're there, mm. connecting with this mind, I'm going to ask Archangel Raphael mm. to go ahead and unblock 
unblock that memory so that she will be able to connect with it. Unblock that memory. I mean, now I s there's more like wood falling and trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Is there something that's going to happen on Earth? Yeah, I feel like maybe that it's like stop. Some of it's stopping. Like mm -hmm. the water stops running. Mm-hmm. And these trees just are falling over. And I think I can help it. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be easy. Mm-hmm. But it's not. I don't know when, what that, like, mm. it's not necessarily, like, bad, mm -hmm. but it's something that can, like, mm. Mm. let's find out what superpower you have. that allows you to do your job as a human. Something with my hands. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what's in your hands. Like, I feel like if I look at my hands, it feels like I hold, like, some kind of, like, circular light. Mm-hmm. Like like an orb or something. Mm-hmm. So, and, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think I know I have it, but... It's, like, mine to carry around. All right. So let's go ahead and pull your hands out of under the blanket. And I want you to lift your hands up. And let's activate those hands now. Let's begin to activate them. Put them in a circular motion as if you're holding a ball, and let's activate those hands. I want you to connect with all of those at the table and have them activated, and tell me what is coming out of your hands. It's like light forming the ball. Mm-hmm. Like it's making it for to take with, with me. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what the properties are of that energy. See if it has a color, frequency. It's like yellowish orange. Mm hmm. And I'd like for you to begin to use that energy, start playing with that energy, <coughs> and start seeing what it can do for you as you move that energy around. Mm. Can like share it with people? Mm-hmm. It feels like a knowledge or something. Mm-hmm. So let's find out how you will be using that energy as you interact with people. Can it be done physically or can it be done remotely? I think it's physically. Mm-hmm. Like by touch. Mm-hmm. So I want you to go ahead. And imagine someone in front of you, and let's see how that energy interacts with that person. Tell me what happens. It feels like it gives like a quality that, like a good quality, like caring and like nurturing. Mm hmm. Like you want to take it forward. Yes. Um, and if it could, like touches enough people, mm -hmm. then it becomes like a bigger thing. Mm -hmm. Like if everyone has a little piece of it, then they can make the change. It's like whatever the problem is mm -hmm. that's going on. All right. Does that have any ability to help with people's thoughts to calm them down? 
Uh, maybe it absorbs them. Mm-hmm. It's probably why I'm... I, there's so many thoughts. Mm-hmm. So let's find out how we empty those thoughts once we are receiving them. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how to empty it. You will know it. Connect with that council in front of you and let's find out how you are able to empty that each evening. Like mm -hmm. a like a garbage disposal. Mm -hmm. It's like some kind of weight that comes out of the side. Mm -hmm. It's like black. Mm -hmm. and it looks like liquid, but it's just air that shoots out. Mm -hmm. Where does it shoot out from? <sighs> the core, the middle. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and see. I'd like for you to go ahead and absorb all of those thoughts that have been running through your mind that have belonged to other people. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and dissolve those thoughts and take them out through your hands and let's see how you dispose of them it's almost like pulling a plug all right it's as simple as that okay and where would we want to put that do we want to send it to gaia mm -hmm. all right so go ahead wherever yeah, it doesn't hurt someone uh-huh so go ahead and see yourself sending it down to mother earth all the way straight down to that golden light and oh, have, that's what it reminds me of. Mm -hmm. It's the, the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. So send all of that darkness, all of those thoughts, and send it directly down into that golden light and have Mother Earth absorb it and dissolve it and make it into pure love again. You tell me how that feels. Good. I'm emptying it out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. And now, how do we deactivate those hands? How do we disconnect them to where they're not always absorbing everything around? It's like part of the process. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But I need to make sure it's emptied. All right, so go ahead and empty it all out. It's empty now. Okay. But... I have to make sure it's like I'm emptying it. Mm -hmm. I'm taking care of it whenever I'm taking, passing it around. Yes. It's getting full. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what ritual do you see yourself doing each day in order for you to empty out what you have been absorbing? Hmm. Kind of like, like I was pulling the plug on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want you to see yourself doing something that you do every single day, without fail, mm -hmm. where you will be able to be reminded to do this. Mm. It could be perhaps brushing your teeth before you go to sleep, mm -hmm. or something like that. Something where you could see yourself every day. Empty. Yeah, I think it's brush like I picture right. brushing because the water is going down. All right, so see yourself brushing your teeth. And as you do, I want you to see yourself putting your hands over that sink, putting your hands in that water. Mm. And let's flush all of that down the sink. And all the way down into Mother Earth. Yeah, that's possible. All right, very good, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So let's take a deep breath and let's disconnect now from that scene and let's go directly to your higher self again. And now that Megan has learned why she has all mm -hmm. of those thoughts in her head, what else would you like to add? Hmm. To add back? Mm -hmm. No, what would you like to add about this procedure? Is this oh. something that 
she came here to do. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. There's... If I keep sharing, eventually everybody will have what it's needed Mm -hmm. for Mm -hmm. when the the water goes away and the trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's hard not to take it. It's part of the process taking on the, um, the stuff that needs to be drained out. Mm-hmm. But now she understands mm-hmm. that everything that was going on through her head was things from other people. Mm-hmm. She was absorbing it like a big vacuum cleaner. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't even her thoughts mm-hmm. when she was having fears and everything else. Mm-hmm. She was just going around picking up everybody else's stuff. Mm-hmm. Very good. So now that she has learned how to get rid of it, do you see her life being a lot different? Yeah, I see the healing, like, um, through yoga and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So how can she connect with you now in the future? She says she's had a big disconnect from you. Have you always been there for her? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can she connect with you even easier now? She is, but it's like she doubts and blocks it. Mm -hmm. So it's, I trust. Mm -hmm. I have more of a trust. Yes. So she needs to understand that you're always there no matter what, Mm -hmm. but she has to trust what she's hearing. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Would you tell her how you sound in her head? Because she's been hearing everybody else's thoughts. How do you sound compared to her conscious mind? More masculine almost. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's like a male voice, but it's like a deep. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's either male or female. It's just kind of like a Mm. I don't know. It's like a feeling, too. All right, good. But you give her that feeling now so that she recognizes it. Mm -hmm. All right, good. She says that in her meditations, she gets a lot of images and visions, almost dreaming while she's awake. Mm Mm-hmm. Is this what she was picking up or something else? She seems to be a very powerful, powerful woman. It's a lot of collective thoughts. Okay. And dreams. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't think they mean much, but they mean things to other people. Okay. Like, maybe collectively they mean something. Mm Mm-hmm. Is she supposed to be doing something with these images? It's kind of listening. Okay. So is this like, is this her way of eavesdropping into the collective consciousness? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And when she hears and sees these images, does she have the power to change them? Does she have the power to to influence them into something better. Yeah, I think Mm -hmm. so. So what would you recommend that she do when she starts seeing these images and visions? What can she send out? The same, like, the same thing through the touch. Mm -hmm. It's the same energy. Um, Just put it, replace, or let... Um, take it in, kind of, but re- like release that while you see it. Okay. All right. Good. Will she know how to do that now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. She says she has insane li- vivid dreams that she remembers mm-hmm. daily. Mm-hmm. Can she, how can she accept these as dreams and move forward? Does she need to accept them? No. know that it's just a, a vision. Mm-hmm. 
Is she getting static, perhaps, from the ethers? Is she picking up everybody's radio signals and TV t channels? Hmm. I don't think so. Okay. So what do the dreams mean to her? Is she going places mm -hmm. in her sleep? I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So what can she do to protect herself before she dreams? Ask for protection. Mm-hmm. To angels, maybe? Mm-hmm. Does she have one particular guide that she can ask for? Uh, Michael, maybe? Michael. All right. So can she, she ask for Archangel Michael to accompany her on her dreams? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Good. Will that help with her dreams? It'll help make it less stressful. Okay. And more as what it is. Okay. Very good. Does she need to remember these dreams? No. Mm -hmm. She doesn't seem to remember her past. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So can she select which dreams to remember? Mm, I think she doesn't know how. Okay. Can you tell her how? I think so. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, more, I'm not sure. I don't think I can help as much. Okay. Who can we ask to help her on this subject? Who can we connect to now? That will be able to help her with this. Hmm. Is there a guide or an angel that is a specialist on this? Maybe um, Raph or Raph, Raph or Raphael or something uh -huh. comes to mind. All right. So can I ask for Archangel Raphael to step up and give her some advice on this? All right. Mm -hmm. So tell me when Raphael is there. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, Raphael. Hello. Megan has some very vivid dreams. And they're insanely vivid, and there's a lot of them. How can she use these dreams to her benefit and not have to remember all of the crazy stuff? She wants wants to take them all back. Mm -hmm. Needs needs to separate it mm -hmm. all in the dreams. Okay. Too much, like need need to know a responsibility mm -hmm. that's not necessary. Okay, she wants to bring everything back with yeah. her. Mm -hmm. Why is she bringing so many dreams back with her? Is she like a, a dream hoarder or something? Kind of. <laughs> It likes to share, and mm -hmm. I am not. I, I think it just it's in in the dreams. It's okay. Yes. So she thinks it's okay, but it, when in in the body, it's not okay. Okay. So she needs to know that when she travels at night, she needs to what happens in her dreams stays in her dreams. Mm -hmm. Let it be. And let it be, and when she comes back comes back to this dimension without all the mm -hmm. cargo because she doesn't she can't have that in here mm -hmm. so how can you help her what can she do perhaps before she falls asleep where she doesn't take a big suitcase of to bring the dreams back I think <laughs> <laughs> um, not bring a big suitcase <laughs> um, Maybe maybe just note note it before going to sleep. All right. So and make we'll, a and note. Then we'll know. All right. Can she take some of you with her on her dreams? Mm hmm All right. Who are the best angels to take with her? So Michael will go. Mm hmm Uh David. Mm hmm And that's that's a good Very one. good. Very good. Thank you so much. Mm hmm Let me speak with the higher self again. What about her? health. Would you do a body scan on her and see how she's doing? Hmm. 
His stomach was weird. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her stomach? What do you see there? Some kind of block. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. Is this a, a an energy block? Or some sort of a hitchhiker there? Mm. What do you see in her stomach? I think it's something stuck. Mm -hmm. Is it something that she has created or is it attached to her? I think it's attached. Okay. Not, not, mm -hmm. Would you allow me to speak with it today? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to put my hand over your stomach and bring that energy up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. What name may I call you today? Jeff. Jeff. How long have you been there with Megan? Forever. Forever. That's a long time, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Forever in this lifetime mm -hmm. or other lifetimes? Now. Now. How old was she when you found her? I two. Two. What was happening at the time that made her so vulnerable to you? Just little. She was little. How old are you, Jeff? <sighs> My kid. You're a child too? Mm hmm How old are you, Jeff? Like eleven. Eleven. What happened to your body, Jeff? Mm hmm. Something really bad. All right. What happened to it? I want to be able to help you today. God, somebody did, my God. Uh. Mm hmm What did they do to you, Jeff? Mm. I think it just hurt me. Mm-hmm. Where did they hurt you? In the stomach. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What did they hurt you with? Knife. A knife. Mm. Was this a grown up or another child? Mm. Grown up. Grown up. Was this someone that you knew? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Was it someone that. Like family? Family member. What is a male or female? Male. Male. Was this your father? I. Yeah, I think so. Our uncle. Our uncle? I can't tell. I Maybe they're both involved. Mm-hmm. They're both involved. What was happening at the time, Jeff? Why did they kill you? I don't think any reason. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's find out what happened to your body. What did they do with your body? It's by a leak. Mm -hmm. What did they do with it? Put me in there. And where where did it go? The bottom. Mm -hmm. What happened to your soul after you left your body? Just hanging out. Mm -hmm. For a while, I like feel like I had old older clothes on. Mm -hmm. Like Is, suspenders and an outfit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that when you found Megan? Mm -hmm. All right. So, Jeff, I want you to go ahead and go back to that body of yours. And I want you to use your mind, your power of your mind, and bring that body out of that lake. Bring it out. Mm -hmm. And as you bring that body back, I want you to go ahead and see yourself being healed. See yourself totally healed from that wound. And tell me how it feels to have that body mm. again. Totally okay. full. Uh huh. All right. So now, Jeff, now that your body is completely healed, I want you to connect with your father and find out what was the reason why your father did that. Go back into another life with him or your uncle and see how you knew each other. 
find out why it was that he had that anger towards you. How did you know each other? I don't know about horses. Mm -hmm. How were you related then? I feel like a girl. Mm -hmm. What happened? Did you do something? No, I don't think so. Mm hmm. How would you relate it together? <sighs> hmm. I feel like a uh, rela relationship. Some something was weird. Mm hmm. And he had horses. Mm. How did that relationship end? I think he was... I feel like really peaceful, but he wasn't good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, did you know Megan in that lifetime? Uh -uh. Okay. Now, Jeff, can you see now that you were somehow related to your father in a different life? Yeah, it might have been the same. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you, if you forgive your father now? Mm. For not knowing any better? Perhaps... Perhaps you were paying off some karma with him? Maybe. Mm-hmm. You see what goes around comes around again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you release that pain that you've been feeling? Would you allow me to take that pain from you? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to put my hand on your chest and give me all that pain that you've been carrying of losing your life so early, of being betrayed by a man who should have loved you. Give it all to me. You don't need to carry that karma anymore. Tell me when I have all of that pain. Mm. All right, let's take all that away and send it to the universe. What would you like to put there, Jeff, instead? Mm. Um, some light and energy. Let's put some light, energy, and love. Lots mm -hmm. of love. Mm -hmm. Feel it going into every bit of your body. Every bit of your etheric body now that it's kind of hold and complete. And I'm going to touch your forehead and seal that in. And now, Jeff, how do you feel now knowing that you're whole and complete? Much better. All right. So I'd like for you to start removing that energy from her stomach. Mm. And I'm going to ask the archangels to bring it, their team of angels of the light surround you and they always tell you something. What are they telling you now? Good job. Mm -hmm. Very good. Are you ready to go home now? All right, so go ahead up to the crown of her head. Mm -hmm. Archangel Michael will accompany you along with the angels of the white light and tell me when you get back home, who's there to greet you? My dad. Mm-hmm. How but does it's he okay. Feel? It's okay. Go ahead and give him a hug. Understand mm -hmm. now the relationship that you had with him. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Very good. Thank you, Jeff. May the light of the universe always accompany you. And now, I'd like Archangel Raphael to go ahead and flood her stomach area with this beautiful green light, healing her from head to toe. Filling that space with that beautiful healing energy. And let me ask the higher self now if there's any other areas in her body that need attention today. So now that she understands how to work with these thoughts, mm -hmm. what advice do you give her? 
Let them be. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just part of the process. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. Very good. So does she need to keep calling it OCD? Uh, some is in it's in blood like their body mm-hmm. um, gen- genetic mm-hmm. same brother and mother I think mm-hmm. but it doesn't have to be negative mm-hmm. so how can we change it to be positive today can we make friends with this today and honor it. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'd like. It just needs to be more space. More space. Very good. All right. So if you allow me, I, Megan, I want you to go ahead and I want you to see your body as this temple that it is. Mm-hmm. And I want you to envision yourself going through it. Each one has a different room, and each room has many, many different thought thoughts going through it, as if they were people. And each one of these people, these thoughts, have different messages. And you can choose to connect with any of these or just allow them to be. How would you like to now envision these thoughts that are going through your body? Do you need to be angry with them? Do you need Mm -mm. to... mm -hmm. How would you like to treat the subjects of your temple? everything equally mm-hmm. and no no emphasis like no stress mm-hmm. on the ones that feel worse mm-hmm. it's the same they're all the same all right so no judgment there all right so i want you to go ahead and envision all of these thoughts running through the temple <sighs> of your life and as the goddess of this temple you have total control over these that live in your temple Mm -hmm. and you don't have to pass judgment on them you can allow them to live there you can open the door and allow those to leave without judgment i almost see them with like a big eye Mm -hmm. very good Mm -hmm. very good good so now is there anything else that we need to address today that i haven't addressed Mm-mm. All right, good. Do you have any final message for Megan today? She's okay. She's okay. Very good. Do you have any message for anybody else? Mm. There's some reason I feel like love for Ma, her mom. Mm-hmm. Like needs to be acknowledged all right so go ahead and acknowledge that where is that love coming from it's like a thank you gratitude mm-hmm. very good mm-hmm. very good thank you very much are we complete today mm-hmm. very good awake feeling wonderful all of it my eyes feel puffy mm-hmm. you've, been, <laughs> you've been crying quite a bit how do you feel? Whoa, super weird. Mm-hmm. That's wild. You had quite a journey. Yeah. I don't feel like my conscious mind got too involved. Like mm-hmm. I kept thinking, like for if I'd kind of think like, what's going on in this moment yeah. for a minute, yeah. like externally, but then it just like didn't interfere, what which is re- I thought was happening was gonna happen. What do you remember? The bird. Mm-hmm. I was like, it's funny because I always picture that like coast kind of mm-hmm. or whatever that vision is. Now you know why. Yeah. You failed at your, you were lazy at your post and <laughs> something happened. Yeah. How do you feel about it now? I mean, it's kind of how it's like a good metaphor for how I carry everything. Because mm-hmm. that's why I like, I'm always protecting like yes. a minute I feel like. But that's why. I feel it, yeah. That came from that lifetime, and we released that today. Yeah, it feels We released better. that guilt. Yeah. And what about the powerful being that you truly are? Whoa. 
That's big, isn't it? Yeah. You know what's funny is when I saw rept the reptile things, yeah. I was laughing because Gavin had reptiles. Mm -hmm. And it kind of like came in like the actual conscious yeah. thought. So now you understand. But I was like, I wonder if they look the same. <laughs> they might have. I don't remember mm -hmm. what his description was. And what about the... The, cool, the moon, the girl with the floating hair was really cool. That's like a really cool visual. Mm -hmm. It's almost like that drawing with the girl with the on the... You see that on the star? Mm -hmm. They're holding on to them. Mm -hmm. And you were sliding. Yeah, that was awesome. You could like run your hands through the side of the world. Yeah. That's Weird. how big you are. Yeah. Wild. And then sitting at, at the table with all of your. Oh, counsel, yeah. Yeah. And you were kind of like the queen bee. Yeah, I had this like, you know, those ears I was talking about? Like yeah. a little like. Thing that connected them like a little hat almost wow but it wasn't royal it was like just leader mm -hmm. yeah and those were... beings are weird because they i was like almost as i got to see it more like my eye it was like when i was think seeing it i could my eye felt like it took up my whole head mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you were basically like well nobody else is going to do this i have to do this yeah which is how i do a lot of stuff and you're now. still doing it yeah i do that all so you decided sexually. to come here at this time yeah to make a big influence on the earth. Yeah. And Which is interesting because I don't do much with... I do it with compassion and, like... Yeah. But I don't consciously worry about water, like... You don't have to. Okay. There's no worry. That's why I think it got kind of blocked consciously because... Because there's no need for you to worry about it. Yeah. It's like, you got this. Mm. No matter what happens, you got this. Yeah. And what about your hands? With the with the energy, uh -huh. yeah, I was weird because my hands actually went later like this, uh -huh. like big, like yes. thick, fing round fingers, yeah, and um, yeah, that was weird. It was totally like what I saw at first when you said the picture down in in the mother, yeah, mm -hmm. in, the, in the core kind of. So it was you were wild. holding quite a bit of energy there. So yeah, you know. Yeah. Why you have been having all of these thoughts. Yeah, for you sure. Can, yeah. You've been absorbing them, but you didn't know how to release them. Yeah. And now you have to empty that. Yeah. You brush your teeth, stick your hands under the water. Yeah. And release it. Yeah. That's a ritual you need to do. Yeah, every definitely. Every night. Mm -hmm. And then before you go to sleep, you make the conscious decision yeah. to take Archangel Michael with you. Yeah, I don't even know the archangel, which is kind of weird. That's okay. You don't need to. It's like, I felt like, yeah, take him with me. But then what's the other angel is like, don't. Raphael? Was show, yeah, it was showing me how to like go from mm -hmm. place to place and like, mm -hmm. just like, like Raphael you can't is, take it all. Yeah, Raphael is the healer. Oh, really? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That was wild. Wow. <clears throat> really so you cool. keep this personal? Uh, oh, I don't care. You can share it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm How okay. You How are you feeling? Wow. I mean, it was interesting because I kept feeling like I wasn't going to be so, at first, you're so worried about like Go get, going deeper. Uh huh. But at the end, I was actually scared I wasn't going to be able to. To come out of it? Yeah, because I felt like I had a blanket of like fog or light like it was felt like a thick like i felt like i've had my eyes open already wow which was wild so yeah. tell everybody how it felt to be in hypnosis oh wow it um i don't even know how to explain it that was um do you feel like you were sleeping no right. definitely feel were you, like were you conscious were you aware definitely conscious and aware okay um i mean that's it's almost like you could feel when you're conscious when your actual, your thoughts were coming in uh -huh. to interfere. Uh -huh. And I think that the best thing you said before I lied down was to like, just whatever first thing pops to mind. Uh -huh. Um, I also think it helps. I'm a very visual person. Of course. Um, of course. Cause I think I also thought like, maybe I'll see it, but it was more like a imagery. Like okay, a so dreamy. it was more like a daydream. Yeah. Okay, good. And it were at any time, did you feel like you were making it up? No. But I did feel like I had parts of it where I'd question for a second, like, <laughs> how can that be? Right? Yeah. Like I, it was definitely a, I'd say, um, interference a few times Okay. where good. it was like, and then 
I just was just kind of shook it off. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it was weird. It almost felt like another person being like, oh, hey, wait, by the way, are you thinking? Now, describe to everybody what was going on in your head, why you came here. What was, what was the, the main issue that you came here? Oh, I came here um, for a lot of overthinking and worrying mm-hmm. and not knowing how to really dispose of that or accept that thoughts going on. I felt like there's something wrong with me. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was just on day to day basis, really being overloaded with, um, too much thinking. So how do you feel now about knowing that? I feel like, yeah, wow. I feel like I know how to at least what, why it's happening or and and dump it out, how to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So you were, she was vacuuming everybody's thoughts all over the, the ethers. Yeah. I could feel it. And holding it mm-hmm. like your own and not knowing because mm-hmm. you said she was concerned that things were going to happen. And, you know, day to day, as as you're going around, people are thinking mm-hmm. all the time. And it seems like you were just picking up everybody's thoughts. Definitely. I feel like that's my dreams, my meditation, all of it. Yeah. I'm always is like just pulling up everybody else's. Yeah. Kinda... I mean, very clairvoyant. Uh. So... Very, very interesting session here. Yeah, today. that was very an awesome interesting experience. Session. <laughs> so would you recommend this to others? Yes, definitely. Terrific, yeah. terrific. So, it's wonderful. Um, how far did you travel today? I traveled from about, I don't know how many miles that is, but San Francisco to Los Angeles. So, so she lives in San Francisco. We're in Los Angeles today, and mm-hmm. I do travel all over the world. And if you want to book a session with me, you go to albawyman.com. There's a calendar there that you could book sessions. Right now, I'm booked way into 2018. Um, and if you want to see where I'm going to be traveling to next, you go to the Out of Town page. There's a newsletter uh, sign up there. And whenever I go anywhere, I will send it out to you to see if there's a city near you where I'm going to. So, uh, worth reckon- the travel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I, so I you recommend out. traveling to see this? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. So if you'd That's like great. to book with me, go ahead there, albawyman.com. <laughs> and until the next time, thank you for watching. And mm-hmm. I hope I get to see you somewhere around the world. Thank you. Thanks. And give me a hug now. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you.